But Ms. Scanlon, can you tell me if a female claiming to be a male has ever dominated in men's sports? No, and actually in my league, there isn't two instances where a female athlete transitioned to the men's side. So this is very much a one-way street. It's, yes. It's, it's biological males competing against women dominate those sports. There's not a case of a biological female uh, going transgender and dominating a male sport. Am I correct? Yep, you're correct. And, it, and it's so, obvious that that would be the case because... Well, that's the case, and simply, this is an attack on the integrity of women's sports. And, and I, I wonder why my Democratic colleagues, who often posture as feminists, can't see this plain truth. Ms. Gannon, what would be wrong with simply allowing transgender men and women to compete in their own sports competitions while we preserve the fairness of women's sports? Yeah, I believe all individuals should have a right to play sports. I think sex-based categories make the most sense. So transgender males should be allowed to compete with other transgender males in their own sports category. Nobody's got a problem with that, I think. Yeah, if that's, if that's what governing bodies decide is the fair solution, then I'm for that. I believe that female spaces should be protected in female sports teams. Now, now the more weighty question is, is who should make the decision to subject a child to, to, to such a procedure on behalf of that child? Nobody. Um, well, in, like, long before governments existed, uh, there were mothers and fathers who had children. So the family is the most fundamental governing unit. It's established by nature itself.